Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very exciting because I was able to create this look with it and I don't know about you, but I'm obsessed. Um, I love the combination of colors that I used. I love the colors in this palette. We are going to be talking about none other than the new Urban Decay Born to Run palette. We'll get to the palette in a second. So before we get started with this video, as always, make sure you hit the thumbs up button before you leave. Don't forget. And also don't forget if you're new here, subscribe to my channel. It definitely means a lot to me when you guys do that. I'm a small YouTuber, so it's always nice when I see new subbies on my channel. And if you're not following me on Instagram, Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat and make sure you do so the links are down in the description box of this video Let's just go ahead and not delay it one more second. Let's go ahead and get started um, So like I said today, we're talking about this palette right here. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette This palette is and I quote super limited edition, which I'm assuming means they didn't make that many of them So if you want to get your hands on it, you better go to your local Sephora right now play with it and swatch it um first let me show you what the actual palette looks like it's this right here um it's obviously a very like travel inspired palette i'm assuming they want you to take this baby with you wherever you're going this summer or on vacation and this is what the inside of it looks like so as you can see there is a ton of shades in here and they have a lot of matte shades i'm going to go ahead and do some swatches for you guys so you guys can see the different beautiful colors that this palette has Alrighty, so this is the first row right here. I feel like I swatched them in a very difficult area. So we have colors like Breakaway, Stranded, Blaze, Weekender, Still Shot, Riff, and um, Good As Gone. So I really like that they really made it like travel inspired. Like these are all things that have to do with traveling. Alright, so this right here is the second row. So we have... Hell Ride, Baja, Accelerate, Guilt Trip, Ignite, Smug, and Wanderlust right here. So as you can see, very, very like beautiful, like colorful row. I live for these colors here. The matte ones look a little bit like splotchy when you swatch them and this is not a one like one swatch i did go a few times to make them look that dark but that's okay though because they blend really nicely and that's what matters in the eyeshadow like this color right here called hell right is the one i have all over like the crease of my eye and you can see it blends really nicely um, and it builds up really nicely so sometimes my eyeshadows don't swatch the best but that's okay as long as they Make your eyes look good, you know? All right, and so here is the last row. So we have Wild Heart, Punk, Double Life, Jet, Drift, Radio, and Big Sky. So the shimmery colors on this row blend like butter. Again, the matte ones are a little bit more on the drying side, but that's okay because they blend really, really nicely. Look at how beautiful those colors are right there. This one right here called Drift is so pretty. And um, so is Wild Heart right here. I wish I would have used them, but I had one look to do and this is what I came up with. And to be honest, I really like it. <laughs> All right, so those are the beautiful swatches. I'm going to show you guys the palette one more time so you can take a good look at it. The first thing I thought when I looked at it was that it has... Um, Huda palette vibes. However, this is a lot cheaper than a Huda palette because it's going to retail for $49 and Huda retails for like $65. It has, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, right? It has 21 beautiful shades in it and you can create so many different looks with this palette. Like it's got pinks and purples and warm tones and cool tones and greens and blues and grays it's got everything um it has base shades it has like transition shades things to make transition shades darker it has like a bunch of like pops of colors you can go from very natural to very like colorful with this palette and that's like the best thing about it like honestly you can do any look with this it is so so beautiful 
this is what Urban Decay like needed. Like this palette I think is going to be a big hit for them. Um, and I think that is amazing. I really like the travel theme. They have like pictures from like a bunch of different places in the world there. So it really like inspires you to like use it when you're like away. And it's very, very sturdy, which means that it's made to travel. Also, it's got a huge, super nice mirror. I forgot to say that. I honestly give this palette a 10. I really, really like it. I can't wait to like play with it a little bit more and come up with other looks with it. So far, I'm really liking the look that I did today. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this look. Do you like it? I did it this morning a little bit differently and I liked it, but um, the way I blew like out the eyeshadows at the top now, I really love the way this looks. Alright guys, so let's get started with the eye tutorial. I'm going to first use my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm going to get my Sephora number 57 um, concealer brush and I'm going to just prime all over my eyelid. I like this primer a lot because it also makes my eyelids very neutral and it takes away any like discoloration and it makes it a super nice canvas for when you put eyeshadow over it. And then we're going to get the star of the show, the Born to Run palette from Urban Decay right here. And we're going to just go ahead and start doing this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a big fluffy brush. This one here is my Morphe M504. And we're going into this color right here and I'm putting it all over my eyelid. So I'm going to just like tap it all over. This color is called Breakaway and it's going to be my base color for all over the eye. So by having a base color, you're further neutralizing any darkness that you might have on your eyelid and it also makes it very, very easy for any um, matte shadows to blend when they're blending on top of another powder. I'm going to next grab my Sephora collection number 10 brush and I'm going to go into the Weekender here. And we're going to put that one as a transition color all over my um, the crease of my brow um, or kind of above the crease of my brow. I'm putting it so that I have it very close to the front of the brow and it just leaves a little bit of a space right here below where my brow is. And with any fluffy brush, just make sure you go back and forth and do windshield wiper motions. All right, and then with that same brush, I'm going to go into this color right here called Still Hot. And we're going to put it also on the crease of my eye, but a little bit lower. So I'm also taking it to the front here and just blending it into the color Weekender. And that's already bringing a little bit of warmth to the eye. I really love that this palette has such a great selection of mattes. Um, if you guys have seen any of my like palette reviews on Urban Decay palettes, you know how happy I am about this color here, Punk. Um, because they finally made a matte brown and they didn't make one they made two they made good as one and punk they are really pretty matte browns i am obsessed and i'm going to bring it down a little bit further because i want to make sure that i'm not missing anything because i think i am going to bring the colors down quite far so i want to make sure that um they meet nicely at the end so obviously I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye and I want this to be very big and like a blown out look so that's why I'm going so high with the eyeshadows. I, um, this is not the first time I play with this palette. I played with it this morning and I'm just trying to recreate the look that I did this morning but I'm perfecting it a little bit. So this morning I was a little bit more modest with the eyeshadows and I had them a little bit lower on the crease but I think um, the way that I did my lower lash line which you guys will obviously will see later inspired me to make it more dramatic. We're going to grab my Morphe M433 and I'm going to go into the color Hill right, right over here. So this is like a purpley pink color and I'm going to go into like the um, outer corner of my eye and blend it into the crease. All right, so again, just doing windshield wiper motions on the crease of the eye. I grabbed it with only one side of the brush so that I can pack it on the outer corner and then build it up into the crease from there. 
And these shadows blend really nicely, which means that it sometimes is good to go back and really like pack it so that you get the intensity that you want from that color. And then you just want to blend it until you don't see where this color ends and the other ones that we put on before start. So I think for now we are good right here. I know this looks very extra, but this is why we do eyes first. So I want it to be lower because I don't know how thick I'm going to do my bottom lash line yet. All right, so I'm going to go in with my E36 and I'm going to take the color Breakaway again, this one right here. And I'm going to pack it right underneath my brow one more time. I'm going to get my number 18 brush from Sephora collection and go into this color here called Big Sky. And I'm going to put this one on my eyelid. I love this palette because it's so versatile and it has so many different shades. And I'm not, I haven't wet this brush yet. Like I am going to do it, but this is with the brush dry. So see, um, so you guys can see how pigmented that blue color is. And I am going to wet it, but I sometimes like to go with the brush dry first. Because um, I feel like it helps it blend um, at the end here when the color is dry. So now I'm going back with my um, M433 and the color Hell Ride, and I'm going to repack it on the outer corner. Make sure I didn't lose it there, right? So I'm just pressing that color on that outer corner. So now I'm going to wet my brush. I'm going to use my All Nighter Spray, wetting the brush, going back to the color Big Sky, and I'm packing it on wet and it's making it more metallic and it's making it so that it shows up a little bit more I'm not, i don't think i'm going to add any more product to this brush i'm just kind of patting again so that it mixes together so now i'm going to clean underneath my eyes so i'm grabbing a little cotton round and my bifacil water and even though you pro uh, don't see it like right here, it's probably dirty from fallout. And I'm not going to clean this edge that much. I'm just going to leave it. All right, so this is how the top of the eyes is staying, the way you see it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do like my base makeup and uh, my concealer and I'll be right back and I'll show you how I'll do the under eyes, okay? So give me one second. All right guys, so I'm back and the only thing I did was I applied my primary foundation and concealer and then I set that concealer with some powder, like especially underneath the eyes. I also applied a green eyeliner to my waterline and I tight line with it. So then I'm going to go back to my palette and I'm going to grab, with my number 18 brush, I'm going to grab the color radio and I'm just going to like beat my brush into it like that, just with the tip. I'm going to get into that color and I'm going to put it right underneath my lashes as close as I can to the waterline basically and I'm putting it all the way to my tear duct area okay so now that that liner is there I'm going to go into my Morphe M36 brush and this color right here and I'm going to put it right underneath that blue and I went into the color still shot and we are dragging it way down it doesn't matter um, just make sure you connect it to the top so now with the same brush I'm just going to wipe a little bit of it off and I'm going back to hell ride and I'm putting it like kind of sandwiched in the middle of those two colors but not all the way in only like halfway actually yes all the way in and now I'm going to grab a little bit of powder on my sponge and we're going to Put it right underneath my eyes and the same thing on this eye and we're just going to let that powder sit there so that it cleans that lower lash line for me all right so while that sits there we're going to do bronzer and blush and highlighter so i'm going to use this bronzer this is from anastasia it's their powder bronzer in rosewood this one is new to my collection so i'm very excited to try it and um for the bronzer i'm going to use this brush here this is the bare minerals Full flawless face brush. And let's take it all around the forehead. If it's not messing with your baby hairs, you're not doing it right. And so make sure you hit all the perimeters of your face and underneath your jaw. Okay, I'm very impressed with this bronzer. I really, really like it. I am super pale down here, but <laughs> nobody's seeing that, okay? All right, so since I'm not going to like contour, I'm just going to do the bronzer. 
because that would be, I think, a little bit too much. I'm going to carve it out a little bit so that it gives definition, although I think I did a good job of putting it on because this is not fixing that much. So I'm going to dust off what was going on down here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my MAC blush in Melba and just hit the cheekbones a little bit. My favorite thing about this blush is that you can barely see it. All right, so I totally forgot to do a little bit of bronzer around the nose, so I'll go ahead and do that now. I grabbed my Morphe M573 for that. And then for highlighter, I think I'm going to do another MAC product, actually. This is the Showgold Highlighter by MAC. I'm going to grab my number Sephora, my number Sephora, my Sephora number 98 brush. And I'm going to... Hit the top of my cheekbones and the cupid's bow. And then I'm going to go ahead and make it more intense because I like where this is going and we're just going to be as extra as we can. And I'm going to get my Smashbox Vlada Collab Highlighter with the same brush and intensify the MAC one even more. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take off the rest of the Big Itch now with my 79 brush from Sephora Collection. I completely forgot to put a color in the inner corner of my eyes. So with my Morphe E36, I'm going to get stranded here. And that's what we'll put in the center here. Right there. Yes, I like it. So now I'll be right back with lashes and we'll choose a lipstick. Okay? See you guys in a second. Guys, so I am back. Lashes are on. To be completely honest with you, I am not even sure what lashes these are. They kind of look like I've used them a million times, which makes me think that they're the Samantha Lashes by Huda, but somehow they still look okay. I did some setting spray, and the only thing I'm missing is lipstick. So because we have pinky purpley hues there, I thought a pinky lipstick would be pretty. Um, this is one of my favorite lipsticks, my favorite lipstick formula, but one of my favorite lipstick shades from YSL, this is the number 25, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. Yes, I love this lipstick for this look. This looks good. All right, so that's it, this is the look. Let's go ahead and jump back to Future Me again. I really like when makeup works well and it looks pretty and I just get so, so excited for it. Let me know in the comments down below um, if you're going to get this palette. Did you like it enough? Do you need it in your collection? I am dying to know. As for me, I really, really like it. And I do believe that it's a palette that is so multifunctional that you could take it everywhere. And that would be the only palette you would need. You wouldn't need one single shade extra added to this palette. You just take that one with you. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a thumbs up before you leave. It means the world to me. Make sure you're following me on my social media like Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook. My Snapchat and Instagram accounts are at Patty C. Alonso, the way it appears right here. And you can follow my Instagram to see pictures, like detailed pictures of any looks that I do here on my channel. I normally um, post them over there and you can see it with a little bit more detail. Besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel if you're new here. My name is Patty. I would love it if you subscribed and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye!